Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are fitting in um, in the old Westex modified garage. We are going to be fitting some selector springs to the Turbo EP3. Um, so we've got these are made by Acuity. Uh, they they are very very cheap. They're only twenty three quid. Uh, we bought those from Exo Racing, amazing suppliers of aftermarket parts, especially for Honda. You you probably already know about them. Give them a fucking go and give them a look. Um, so yeah, we've got we've got these from Exo Racing. Uh, we are hopefully hoping that they're going to be the pinnacle or the je ne sais quoi, the pista resistance in our gear selection mods that we've got on there so far so about that um so gear selection mods that we've done so far we've done teguar solid shifter base bushings we've got teguar um shifter cable bushings the road joint one uh and we've also got the revo technica um short shifter assembly in there um so just those three combined made a massive difference in gear selection however one thing i was still getting um nominal drive normal driving absolutely beautiful every gear just seems feels amazing now compared to what it did over the original standard worn out shit um but however still now and again i find myself just hunting for one of them gears uh and it's like shit mr gear anyway so I'm hoping these can help solve the problem. So let's get these bad boys fitted and let's see how they turn out. Mod for the K20 Turbo. So this is Qt's K Series transmission spring upgrade. Um, we're going to smash this in today. Um, hopefully it's not too much of an involved job. It's quite a cheap little mod, and all you're doing basically is putting stiffer springs in, so it'll change the feel of um, of your shift. Um, Plus, don't forget, this is 20-year-old uh, springs in the gearbox now. Um, so I'll just give you a quick peek at the what we're going to take off to, to gain access to it. So you need to take off your two shifter cables. Um, for filming purposes, I've already taken off the washers and the, um, the split pins. Um, so there's your, your, your bigger cable. That will just lift off. There's your next cable. That one will just slide off. Bit of a twat because... At the moment, I still I haven't taken them out there, the the, uh, the bracketry at the back, so there's no there's not much give, but it will come off. You just gotta give it a bit more, but it's um we're about trying to bend it. Okay, so cables off. It's a big one there. It's the smaller selector cables off as well. Hopefully, now that once we've unbolted it, it'll uh, it will come out complete. I'm hoping I haven't got to take anything else off. Try and make it a bit quicker. But you know what it's like. So, four 10 mil bolts to get out. One through, you can see through the hole of the selector. One in there, one there. You can see the other one is buried underneath. So, we'll uh, whip those off, pull the selector out now. Out so, like a knob, I did end up having to pull this pipe off because I didn't have enough room. So, you know, cut the piece out. Right, as you can see, so I've got the four bolts out at the top. See one, two, three, and then number four is there. I've got the cables, it's attached. I'm hoping that I've got enough clearance as they are because they are still in that bracket. There is I didn't see it. That Allen key bolt there, that's gotta come out as well. And then you should be able to remove the selector so we'll take that out now and you can have a look all right let's have a go at this so what i've done at the moment is i have taken the selector cables off that's electric connected disconnected now so yeah the cables are off the brackets i've done done the clips and removed the cables give me a bit more room just because it doesn't go in as straightforward as i thought hopefully i haven't got to take anything else off because i have got coolant pipe in the way but i think We've got it. I think we've got it. Okay, we've got it. So 
So as you can see, that's what we're left with. And have a quick peek in the box, it's nice and clean. Uh, I can't see any obvious damage, which is good. Tiny bit of wear on the selector fork on the edge, it looks like. But it looks pretty good in there, to be fair. It's always had regular gear oil change as well, and never anything bad coming out. So, anyway, 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 anyhow. Anywho. Right. So. There we are. There's your fucking... That's what we're doing. So. That's got to come apart. And... We are changing that spring there for that one. And there is an obvious difference in the thickness of the spring straight away. So, I mean, I'm hoping it'll give us a nice bit of feedback. But we'll see. It looks okay. The only thing I, was, I can see so far, I mean, I haven't had this out at all, but there is a bit of wear. To the shaft there you can see the zinc plating scratched off that could be from obviously fucking nine grand's nine grand shifts people smashing it into gears like dmo i don't know anyway anywho so we'll strip it apart i'll have a fucking gander um as far as it no i think so Take that bolt out there, probably a 12 with it being jap or look run about 12 13 mil anyway. Uh, pull that out, and then it's a case of pull it apart carefully because it is all it is sprung loaded. You don't want to end up with the springs fucking off. And take it apart nice and slow. So, quick tip pull the bolt out, um, pull the whole assembly off in one, holding it together. I said before it is sprung load, so what I've done is uh, just put a screwdriver through it just so uh, it all stays in one place um, just fucking leave it there don't touch it so there's there's the bolt that comes out um, that leaves you as you can see like that so cap off and that leaves us with there's your main, sp your main spring and your secondary spring. So, fire them off. Okay, so whilst I've got this off, before I go any further, I'm just going to stand the blade all the old Honda Bond off. Um, ready for the new shit to go on. So I've got some fucking awesome seal it for this. That I've used on many... Of things sumps crankcases all sorts all right so we'll just quickly fire this gasket stuff off we'll give it a proper proper going over because get the get the sandpaper out get a nice key get the fucking brake cleaner out and uh Okay, so just for reference, there's the original Honda Springs, and there's the acuities. So we'll give you a side by side, and as you can see, they're already taller. Um, and what I'm guessing is it's either just due to the springs getting tired and old. I mean, they've been in there since new, but there is a definite difference in the torsion of the spring massive difference so they say we'll smash them in now and I can't wait to actually see the the effect of the spring the actual mod itself um, you know for, for I think it's 23 quid for these springs so I'm, I am keen to see what they do if anything yeah fuck it let's smash them in get it fucking in son Right then, so we've got it all cleaned off. Um, we've keyed the, the, the surface where the old gasket was. Uh, so, anyway, washer goes one way, as you can see. 
that's where the spring's been sitting on and that's where it's been sitting on the actual surface of this shaft so washer on big spring put that in first little spring put that over so it ends up like that now then this is probably the tricky part so you've got a cup there as you can see that's all been cleaned off smash that in that sits over the whole lot so as you can see she sits on there right so now we need the piece that was in before uh, which is that piece there that I was talking about putting the screwdriver through so this needs to go in next um, now it might take a bit of jiggery pokery because I say it's sprung loaded might be a bit of a bastard I don't know So, bolt, get this in, come on, so you've got, to, you've got to compress it all with one hand and put the bolt in with another, if you obviously if you can get someone to give you a hand, then I would do it that way, but unfortunately today, I am on my Todd. Right, so, do not cross thread this bolt. If you are going to do this because you'd be in a world of pain and you more likely end up having to replace the uh, a lot it is a 12 mil bolt okay um now i don't know the torque setting of it because i don't have the manual for the car so we'll just pinch and voila so already just by the feel of it there is a, a massive difference in the actual tension on the spring um, it, you know so hopefully we can we can see now what that is going to equate to in the car but there's a lot more resistance in that cup um, so yeah be uh, exciting to actually feel the difference so it's had a nice clean um, the only thing that's making it dirty again is my grubby fingers because I haven't put gloves on or washed them or anything in between the process. So yeah, that's how it would how you'd see it from the top of the gearbox. It's going to sit in, obviously, as you can see. Big cable moves it this way. Little cable moves it up and down, and I think that's where that's where you're going to feel that 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 tension. Is obviously it's a progressive spring, so you're going to feel obviously with the, with the first first and second spring it becomes progressive rather. So yeah, it'd be interesting. Hopefully we'll feel those results. Right then, so this is the uh, the gasket I'm going to use, or well, instant gasket I'm going to use rather. So made by Granville, high temp instant gasket this is the fucking bollocks i've used this on loads of things maze balls so the gearbox side has been cleaned up ready to go um obviously what you need to remember what i should have said before if you are doing this make sure you haven't got any loose shit around the gearbox that's going to fucking drop in because it will go straight in the gearbox and it could potentially cause you a bit of fucking damage you never know anyway top tip so, I think what we'll probably do is, instead of putting the gasket on this part of the um, selector, we'll put it on the gearbox itself. I think that might be the easiest way in actually for when it comes to fitting the part, as opposed to fucking actually trying to put it on the bottom and making a mess everywhere so 
Right, so, rag at the ready. It might not be the easiest because of them in the, in the bay. Oh, a bit fast. Too fucking slow. So there is an adjuster on this thing, which makes it amazing. As well as when you actually use it, um, like it, when you buy other instant gaskets, how many times is it you use it once and when you come to use it next time, it's fucking gone off. The only thing I don't like about the instant gasket is even if you put a thin fucking bean on, it always bulges up the bastard sides like you've put a fucking gallon of the stuff on. It's a ball ache. But it's how they made it. So too much on there, but fuck it. Right, let's get some of this fucking Just use your finger. It's better if you can wet your finger before you do it. Like you would do if you were like a plumber putting silicon on. Same sort of process. Wet your finger. Works the treat. And it helps take some of the excess off. Um, it will go everywhere. Just keep that in mind as well. You touch one. If you touch that and you touch one thing, it, it, it's a fucking ball like it's a nightmare. Right, let's get this one. Let's get this bad boy fucking in. Right. So. It's definitely fiddly with the coolant pipe in place. I'll tell you that for a fact. But I don't fancy draining my coolant, so. It's, uh What do you do? Now it needs to go in this way, like I said, with the coolant, it's a it's a bit of a it is a faff. Right, so we're in. And then wiggle it about so it slots in. And what you'll need to do is there you are, she's in, get the four bolts in first. If you can get your four bolts in first, um, to hold it down, and then put your bolt in on the side because you say it's spring loaded, so all it's doing at the moment is just pushing back up and up and up and up. So you will need to get this in fucking first. In the name of mods. Now then, so with this bolt here, this look at the bolt that did have Honda Bond on it. So, for all intents and purposes, I've put some. Uh, silicon on that there and we'll smash that in it's a bit of a ball like to get at the moment because say if i had maybe if i take the other boost pipes off it would be fine um where are we no see that's the problem excuse my bad filming that's where it goes So, tighten that up, as you can see, selected in. Conclusion time! Springs, are they any good? Yes, uh, especially if what you pay for them. Um, you know, again, we paid 23 quid for these springs. Uh, not a hard job to do. Maybe if you've got to pay someone to do it for you, you've got a bit more of an outlay to, for the job. But they're definitely worth doing, I think. 
Um, the next little mod I think we're going to try and do in terms of the gear selection is probably the detent springs and see what you know the mixture of all of it does. Um, and uh, see how we go on with that. Um, but yeah, no, as as a mod on a whole, yeah, can't fault it. Reasonably priced, easy job to do, and uh, gear selection feels fucking great now. So epic, epic stuff. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you are watching this, uh, we hope to see you uh, again soon with some more content on uh, on one of the many cars we <laughs> we get to work on. Um, and hopefully, as mentioned in the uh, in the previous video, we'll be doing some uh, some more rev like car reviews and um, a bit of vlogging on stuff for the meets and whatever we go to. Um, just general chit chat, you know, making a bit of a community with uh, with the other guys out there that. Uh, love doing what we do we love doing and uh yeah so uh like comment subscribe guys if you can and uh, help us grow get us out there peace out see you soon